Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next Q&A video, and uh, this one is a fun series for me to do. It's always nice to read some of your guys' questions and be able to answer them. And also, if you you know followed me on Camcord, you might know that I haven't been streaming that much. Um, haven't been really streaming at all, really. So this is another way I can answer your questions other than just in, like in a live feed. I can uh, look at them in the YouTube comments and uh, answer them in this series. Uh, so hope you guys like the questions. If you have future questions, uh, if you want, you can drop them in this video. I would recommend waiting and uh, just dropping them because uh, I do I do these uh, videos about once a month. So I would just wait until I tell you guys I'm getting close to recording one. Then go ahead and drop it in the videos that I'm are more recent because uh, that way it might be more relevant. And if you drop a comment now. Uh, a month later, it might not make as much sense. But you can drop a comment. I'll take a look at this video, too, before I make the next one. So whatever you guys want to do. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the questions. I hope you guys enjoy the attacks in the background from the last war, uh, which I'll have going on. But the first question comes from uh, Blue Dragon Omega. Uh, how, long have you been have you, how long have you been in uh, Genesis slash One Hive, and why did you choose One Hive over other war clans? So yeah, uh, I've been in the One Hive family since October, November, sometime around then. So I don't know, three months maybe. It might it might be October. So what's that? November, December, January, February. It's about four months. Uh, so it's been kind of a while now. And uh, the reason I originally came to One Hive, uh, well, I've been watching Jake's channel for maybe a year now. Uh, love his videos. Uh, if you want, you can check him out. One Hive Raids. Uh, but one of my friends told me about his channel. I started watching those videos. Um, I was interested in the clan, but I was already kind of in another clan that I liked, and I stayed with that clan for a while. Eventually, it kind of broke up, so I decided I'd go ahead and apply to uh, One Hive because that was always a clan I thought uh, would be fun to try to get into. And uh, I got into it, went through the whole process of recruitment, which I'm not going to go into details about, uh, but. I went through a number of different clans and eventually ended up in Genesis. I actually originally applied to the main One Hive clan, but um, I'm th I think they're mostly looking for Town Hall 10s at this point because that's where the sweet spot of war is kind of shifting to, kind of shifting away from Town Hall 9. So, yep, that's how I ended up in Genesis. And as far as why I chose it over other war clans, I don't know. I, I just didn't know much about other war clans. It was really the only uh, war clan that I knew uh, besides a few of the other big ones. And obviously it's fair play, which is what I am, so uh, no modding was a very uh, key aspect for the clan. So yeah, that's how I ended up in Genesis. Uh, next question comes from Devin Matkari. Can I send a base for this series? Nice video, by the way. Uh, this one was on the base destruction series that I just started. Uh, my last video was episode number one. And the an I've had a lot of people ask me this. The, the answer is... The short answer is no. This series is kind of meant for the One Hive bases where I can record the replay that got the three star. It's not really a base review type series. I'm thinking I might do one of those if I have enough interest. I might do a base review series uh, where you guys send in your bases. I can uh, pop them up on the screen, talk them through, and uh, just kind of go through how I would try to attack it. But this series really isn't about the viewer bases. It's more about the bases uh, that I'm seeing in One Hive and that I can record the attacks on those bases. So uh, I don't know, maybe in the future we'll have that series, uh, but for right now it's just gonna be the bases in One Hive Genesis. All right, uh, Cherry668. Uh, good war guys, nice try and great video. Uh, question, what do you do for a living? And if your channel continues to grow a bit more, like 20K uh, subs or more in the future, uh, or around in the future, Will you start giving more time to the channel or just keep the balance as it is now? Uh, by the way, I like your content. Keep it up. The good work, man. Uh, well, thanks. I appreciate the viewership. Um, as far as what I do for a living, uh, if you guys I don't know, couldn't tell, I guess, I'm, I'm only like 17, so I'm, I'm not working right now. I'm just going to school. I'm a junior in high school. Uh, some of my older subscribers might know. Uh, about that more, but the, for the new uh, people out there, yeah, I'm only in high school. I'm a junior, so not working a job right now. I have had a job in the past. Uh, I'm at a grocery store, but that's kind of beside the point. Anyway, though, uh, I've had the channel for about 
close to a year and a half now, and only recently has kind of started to grow at a faster pace, uh, mainly since I've been in the One Hive family. It's kind of had a little boost just because being associated with the One Hive clan, I guess, gets some of the more hardcore war viewership, uh, which is awesome. Love to see new people coming to watch my videos. And um, 20k subs is kind of hard to wrap my mind around that I ever get that high. Uh, but in the event that I did, uh, you guys probably would see some more uh, uploads. I, I've been uploading every day for quite a while now, maybe like two, three weeks. Um, but you might see some more channel art, some more intros, outros, maybe better editing, uh, various stuff like that. Because um, right now the videos take maybe 20 minutes to make. So uh, yeah, I guess I'd spend a little bit more time on it. But as far as the content goes, I mean, like, I probably wouldn't have any, I mean, maybe I'd have two videos a day on the weekend or something, but wouldn't have, like, that much more. Uh, for right now, I think a daily upload is enough for me, especially if I'm going to be editing it more. Uh, it would take up a lot of time, and I am pretty busy during the week. So uh, the most I can see myself doing is probably one video a day and maybe two on the weekends. Uh, two on Saturday, two on Sunday, I mean. Uh, so anyway, uh, I would give some a little bit more time, but it wouldn't be like a tr uh, huge change because uh, right now I'm already designating you know, a significant amount of time each day uh, to making these videos. So I uh, hope you guys like the content that I am throwing out there. But anyway, thanks for the question, Cherry. All right, next one we're going to take a look at is um, Augie31. Are you going to make your own clan for your subs? Uh, interesting question, and I'm not sure if you knew this already, but I actually did start a subscriber clan last summer and uh, went through a few wars, only like a 15 person clan or so, so not that huge. And I did have to stop it at the end of the summer just because uh, with the the fall comes a lot more uh, stuff. I'm a lot busier, uh, so I was not able to uh, continue to keep the subscriber clan going and trying to lead it through different wars. Uh, so yeah, but as far as reopening it, I'm, I'm not sure, not anytime soon. Uh, I might open it at some point just for some people to come in and chat with me if I have time, uh, but probably not gonna open it as a serious war clan just because it's too much right now to have two accounts both in clans that are doing wars. Uh, so I wouldn't expect the subscriber clan to be open anytime soon, but maybe sometime down the road uh, just to have some people come in and chat if I have some time uh, to hang out on my mini account because my mini account is the only account in the clan that's closed right now. Uh, it's called Three Star Union, if you want to look it up. Uh, I don't know, if you, in case you want to search it up on Clash of Clans. But uh, it's probably going to just stay either closed or as just kind of a hangout place. Alright, um, next question comes from uh, Bear Boy. Uh, Q&A answer one by one, like the videos by the way. Uh, what's your name? So, kind of a simple question, but I'm actually, I don't really want to give my real name. Uh, it's it's just some kind of, apologize for the phone ringing in the background, but it's just some kind of uh, anonymity. I don't know how you, I like to remain anonymous a little bit to some extent. Uh, so, I just go ahead and go by by Sectatron. That's kind of my clash name, kind of become my gamer name, so to speak. Um, so, I mean, maybe for like, 10,000 subs or something if that ever happens I'll give away my name uh, but it's kind of arbitrary and uh, there's no real point to giving it away so gonna, gonna disappoint you and I'm not gonna give away my name uh, so like I previously said I'm 17 uh, when did you decide to join a high-level war clan and why uh, this is a little bit repetitive but uh, I've I, before Genesis I was in before the one high family I was in a semi-competitive war clan and once it kind of fell apart I thought I'd go ahead and try to take it to the next step, and I joined One Hive. I've been playing Clash for two and a half years, I think. Um, not that consistently. I've had some breaks, and I've had some times where I go on once a day or a few times a day, uh, so not doing that many attacks per day. But uh, all in all, it's been about two and a half years. I started playing um, the summer of 2013, I believe. So, yeah. What's your favorite attack strategy? Uh, I mean, I like... And talk, I assume we're talking war. Um, I'm a fan of Go Vaho. I like 
uh, bringing Valks. I think they're kind of underused, and only recently have people been really using them a lot, which I think is good. I think they're a very powerful troop if you use them correctly. And then also I love Hogs. Uh, I usually don't mess with air attacks that much if I can help it, uh, but I will do a dragon attack every once in a while, although my absolute favorite probably going to be Govaho. Uh, which clan is, in your opinion, the best war clan? Be honest. I mean, I've kind of hinted at this before. I'm not that familiar with the whole war scene. Uh, kind of on an island on my channel out here. So I know there's, you know, there's some of the Reddit clans, uh, like North Three members, st clans like that. I don't think I can in any way give an opinion on which is the best, just because it would, it would be so uninformed. So I assume it's not going to be one hive. Um, I know we're a very good clan and we're a top level clan, uh, but the family in general, I don't think is the, the pinnacle of fair play war clans. Obviously the modding clans can beat us, but that's basically a different game at this point. So I, I can't really give an opinion on what's the best war clan in the game right now. Uh, what other games do I play? Um, so I, I play like just some kind of puzzle arcade type games just to pass the time sometimes at school or something. So Geometry Dash is something I've been playing a little bit. Um, I don't play that much Xbox really. I, I did uh, when I was younger, but at this point, maybe FIFA every once in a while or something. Uh, but the main game I'm just playing is Clash right now, as well as a, as a few other uh, arcade type mobile games, uh, but nothing too serious besides Clash. Um, so thanks for the question, Bear Boy. Let's go ahead and get into the next one because we have a few more questions to get through. And this one comes from Arvin. Uh, Q&A, are you going to do live attacks? So I came out with the return of the live attacks maybe like two weeks ago. I hadn't done one for a while just because uh, my iPad wasn't able to mirror onto my Mac for some reason until there was a software update. So once that finally happened, um, I brought the live attacks back. And you can see I'm trying to do one maybe once a week. They're a little bit hard to record just because I have to find a time. Uh, where I'm you know, able to both attack and to record because a lot of times there's a lot of planning that goes into the attack and I just don't need the extra um, sorry I don't, I don't need the extra uh, you know hoops to jump through with having to record it you know while I'm trying to do a serious attack so um, if I if I find a good chance to do one and I have plenty of time I'll I'll, I'll definitely record it so once a week is probably what I'm going to say for live attacks, but I'll do more if I can. All right, uh, two more. Uh, this one comes from Joe Alley. Q&A, when you're building a war base, what is the first uh, few things you do? So I've shown my war base, but I guess I haven't shown the process of building it. Um, people do speed builds and stuff. I've never really been into that. So when I'm building a war base, though, usually I'm going to put down the clan castle first, just right in the middle. Uh, or put down the queen offset. Probably those two buildings are the first things I put down. Um, some people don't put their CC in the middle, but I feel like there's nothing else that's really that important to put in the middle, so might as well center the clan castle, make it hard to lure out the CC troops, because uh, you almost never want it to be like a one barbarian or even a one hog lure, because uh, typically that's not going to work in your favor, especially with how strong the poison spell is. Um, so... I would say the queen, the CC go first, then uh, start to build kind of the compartments around that. Put the air defenses down early as well. Uh, figure out the spacing on those. Don't want to put them too close to each other, but don't want to put them within range of the outside to where a queen walk can take them out. So space out the air defenses correctly. Obviously keep them away from the queen to some extent uh, to prevent against just the old-fashioned go la Loon attacks. And once the air defenses are down, you can start to build the double giant bomb spots around that. And uh, from there, just keep placing defenses in the right spots and go from there. But th those are the first things that I typically do. So the final question comes from uh, Clash of Clans with Slayer77. What's the lowest level that you can do a queen walk? Um, there's no one level where it's like, as soon as your queen gets there, boom, you can do a, a queen walk. It's kind of a progression. So I would say... Anything below level 10 just wouldn't practically make sense. Even at level 10, it's like I said, there's no real point. But once you get to level 10, you can start to think about doing a queen walk. Um, I would say that you have to 
uh, take into account the fact that a low-level queen is going to take a very long time to take out just trash buildings and defenses in general and make her way around the base. So if you have a lower-level queen, uh, just have her do a smaller queen walk and know that also she doesn't have as many hit points, so you can't um, let her get too low for too long or else she'll be taken down. Um, at level 30, the queen is probably better for a queen walk. The higher level she gets uh, is when you want to start doing bigger queen walks because she can take out uh, buildings faster and she does more damage. So she's just more of an asset to you and you really want to utilize her with a queen walk. Um, so I guess these are kind of arbitrary, but level 10 is when you can kind of start doing a queen walk or start thinking about doing one. Level 20 is when you can do more serious queen walks where she might enter the base, take out a few air defenses, take out a hero, something like that, uh, deal with bigger stuff. In level 30s, uh, where you can really get creative with her, and uh, as long as you have enough healers and rages, because uh, her ability is very powerful at level 30, you can start to get really creative with her. But at the low levels, you want to keep it to maybe taking out a few defenses, then meeting up with the kill squad, something like that, because she's probably not a high enough level to enter the base or get any serious uh, chunk of the base taken out. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks in the background. Those are all the questions I could take. Um, so I pretty much got all the answers or answered all the questions that were asked that I saw in the last few videos. Uh, but like I said, if you have a question you want answered, you can put it in the comments. And I'll go ahead and just respond in the comments to most questions unless you want it specifically answered in a Q&A video, in which case you'll have to wait a few weeks for the next one to come out because uh, I do space these out a little bit. But hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.